Hello everyone, my name is Yi Han Luo, and here is my presentation for the Art LLIs project. And the Latino artist I chose is Antonia Aries. She is a Cuban painter who was born in 1929 and 1995. Uh, she experienced the period of the Cuban Revolution. Um, she was born in Havana, Cuba in 1929 and studied, and she studied art at the San Alejandro Academy in Havana and where she was influenced by the surrealism and other avant-garde movements. Uh, after the Cuban Revolution, all of the Cuban government's oppressions of art did not reach the level of other socialist countries like China, the Soviet Union, and North Korea as well, the Cuba government still strictly controlled the forms of artistic expression. Uh, most artists can only promote communism and, you know, socialism. But however, Eris' art often addresses social issues, including the roles of women and the impact of political oppression. And the use of dark colors and disturbing imagery reflects the sense of unease and tension in Cuban society during the time period. In 1968, Eris' art career was put on hold after the Cuban government labeled her masterpiece painting a platform for democratic peace as, as defeatist and is a term that indicated counter-revolutionary and which is a very serious accusation, especially in some socialist countries. Um, in 1993, Ares obtained permission from the Cuban government to move to the, the United States and spent the final two years in Miami as a result of a declining health due to depression. Despite the difficulties she faced, she continued to create art until her passing in 1995. And here are some artworks she created in her early life. Uh, this the painting she created while uh, she's studying and working at San Alejandro Acad Academy. And you can see that uh, her style is very dark, gloomy, and a little bit terrifying. And uh, this art, a platform for democratic peace, uh, is the one labeled counter the revolutionary by the Cuban government. And she paused her career after publishing it. And here are some works she created when she was in Miami. And in only two years, Ares completed over 25 oil paintings before her death in Miami, and each of which commemorate each of the 25 years she had not painted due to the censorship in Cuba. And, uh, you can see that her painting style is even darker, uh, more gloomy, and even more terrifying. And I guess it's due to her depression and her resentment towards censorship. The work I have chosen to analyze is titled 
maternity in English, uh, created in 1994, only one year before Ares' death. The painting depicts that uh, a woman holding a child and both of them with paint uh, struggling and horrible expressions and the child's and the child skates toward and the child skates toward the viewer as to the unsetting nature of the painting. Uh, and as I said before, uh, almost all of her works are dark, terrifying, and gloomy. And despite the title of the work Maternity, the atmosphere created by the, the dark colors and disturbing imagery is far from maternal. And in fact, uh, it reminds me the scream by the Wigan artist Edward March, uh, created in 1893. Uh, I believe this is the inspiration for most Aries work style. In the almost featureless uh, background, further as to the somber to the somber mode of the painting, and it's possible that as a feminist and activist artist, Aries intended this work as a commentary on female oppression. That the woman uh, tense posture and straight expression suggest the weight of societal expectations and pressures placed upon mothers. And given that uh, this painting was created in 1994, uh, during the last year of Eris' life, it's possible that the somber mode and struggling impressions, struggling impressions of the figures in the past Eris' own personal struggle with depressions at the time. And here are some social questions for discussion. How do societal expectations and pressures on women who bear and raise children impact their emotional well-being? And how does society's policy and constraints on women's bodies and choices surrounding motherhood affect them? Uh, and as I said, some countries have very strict censorship of art, like Cuba and former Soviet Union. And even in the U.S., there were examples of artists' creative freedom being violated. And how can artists freely express their art under the pressure of the big environment? And these are my references. And that's all. Sorry for my poor English and thanks for listening.